Mathematicians, in this lesson you will learn how to write fractions with a numerator of 1 by looking at shapes that are broken into equal parts. You know that when we are talking about fractions, we are talking about breaking things into equal parts. When we break something into two equal parts, we call the fractions halves. When we break something into three equal parts, we say it's broken into fractions called thirds. When we break something into four equal parts, we say it's broken into fractions called fourths, and so on. Let's look more closely at this last shape. When you have a shape that is broken down into four equal parts, each of those parts is called a fourth. And we can count fourths just like we would count any other object, like this. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths. When you put all of those fourths together, you end up with the whole square that we started with. When I want to think about just one part of this whole shape, or one-fourth, I could shade in just the fraction one-fourth. To write the fraction one-fourth and show that I am thinking about just one part, I would need to write it in a special way. When you write fractions, it looks like this. There's a number on the top called the numerator. The numerator is just the part we're thinking about. Since we are thinking about only the shaded part, that's 1. I would write 1 at the top. Then I would need to draw a line. Underneath the line is where I draw the denominator. The denominator is the total number of parts in the whole. Since there are 1, 2, 3, 4 total parts, I would write 4 as the denominator. Let's look at another shape. I want to draw the fraction that matches this shape. Since I know a fraction is the part that we are thinking about over the total number of parts, I would start by counting the shaded parts, the parts that we are thinking about. I can see that only one part is shaded. It doesn't matter where that shaded part is located. It's still just one part. I would write 1 on top as my numerator. Then I would draw a line. Now, to complete the fraction, I have to count the total number of parts that the shape is broken into. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I would write 5 as the denominator because there are 5 total parts in the whole shape. The fraction 1 fifth matches this shape because it is divided into 5 equal parts and only one part, or 1 fifth, is shaded. 1, the numerator, is the part we are thinking about, and 5, the denominator, is the total number of parts. I can read this fraction as 1 over 5, 1 out of 5, because I am thinking about just one part out of a total of 5 parts, or simply as 1 fifth. Now let's look at this in a problem. Here is a cake. Three friends, John, Jake, and Jim, are sharing this cake equally. What fraction of the cake does John get? Well. If the cake needs to be shared equally between three friends, I would have to divide or split the cake into three equal parts. I know that when I split something into three equal pieces, each piece is called a third. Then I would shade in only one piece, because John only gets one piece, so that it's fair. Now I need to write the fraction one-third. I would start by writing the numerator. The numerator is just the part we are thinking about, and since John only gets one piece, the numerator is one. Then I need to draw my line. Next, I would need to write the denominator, or the total number of parts. There are three equal parts in this cake, so I would write three. The fraction of the cake that John gets is one-third. Now you know how to write fractions with a numerator of 1 by looking at shapes that are broken into equal parts.